Welcome to a comprehensive tutorial on how to set up the Vita 3K emulator on your Android device. I'm thrilled to guide you through the intricacies of this process, but before we dive in, there's something important to note. My device isn't exactly a powerhouse, which means I won't be able to showcase any gameplay in this video. Unfortunately, the emulator consistently crashes on my hardware. However, fear not. I'm still here to provide you with a quick and efficient setup guide that will have you up and running in no time, if you happen to be the lucky owner of a more powerful Android device, you'll be able to explore a plethora of exciting games on the Vita 3K emulator. This tutorial will lay the foundation for your gaming adventures. And with your powerful hardware, the possibilities are endless, before we jump into the tutorial, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our future content. If you find this guide helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and comment below with any questions or feedback. So, without further ado, let's get started with the setup process for the Vita 3K emulator on your Android device. And remember, for all things gaming and tech-related, you can always rely on PlayWave. First, you need to download the Vita 3K app on your Android. You can search for it on Google. I downloaded the APK from GitHub, but you can download it from any reliable source. After that, open the app, and you'll be prompted to select your preferred language. On the next screen, it will ask you to download the firmware and font package. You can either download them from within the app or search for PS Vita firmware and font package on Google. You can easily find them on PlayStation's official website. Once you've downloaded these files, you can import them. I've already placed both files in a separate folder, so I'll select them from there. You'll notice that it went from showing installed X to installed V after importing the files. Next, import the font package file. After that, proceed to the next screen. Scroll down and tap on Close. Now, you need to create a profile by giving it any name you prefer. Once your profile is set up, you'll be on the main screen. At the top right, you'll see a file option, and there, you can find Install Zip or VPK. It's essential to ensure that the game you want to install is in a zip file format. If you don't have a game downloaded yet, I can attempt to make a gameplay video in the next video. Please note that my device tends to crash during actual gameplay. And there you have it, folks. You've successfully set up the Vita 3K emulator on your Android device. While we couldn't demonstrate gameplay due to the limitations of my device, you're now ready to explore the world of PlayStation Vita games on your own terms. Remember, if you have a more powerful device, the possibilities are even more exciting. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel, PlayWave, for more tech tips, gaming guides, and emulator tutorials. Your support means the world to us, and it keeps us motivated to bring you the best content. Feel free to drop any questions or suggestions in the comments section below, and we'll do our best to assist you. Thanks for tuning in, and happy gaming with the Vita 3K emulator on your Android device.